Hi everyone, so guess what? It's Christmas cookie time. Finally. <laughs> Absolutely. And today I'm really excited to introduce you to my daughter, and this is Avalon. And Avalon is an exceptional baker and she decorates these gorgeous ginger biscuits. So we're going to show you how to make, or well, we're going to tell you how to make biscuits, and Avalon's going to demonstrate how to ice them for you. So to start, what we've done is we've baked some very simple ginger biscuits and you'll see a description, you'll see the recipe in the description box below. Um, and we've used these cookie cutters, prestige cookie cutters. Um, you get some little gingerbread men and a star cutter for, for this demonstration. And then um, once, once they're baked, you just let them cool and then you can start with the icing process. The icing process is a little bit of um, a little bit of an effort and it's super yeah. messy too, but it's quite fun to get your kids involved and to, to just, just have fun with it. It's really, it's really not that complicated. And you'll also see the recipe for the icing in the description box below. Yeah, so. it's really worth it because as you can see here, unlike normal icing sugar, this um, dries really hard. So you can put decorations on and even when you look here, you can get really, really beautiful detail on it without it kind of messing off the side of the cookie. Absolutely. And, um, and then you'll see all the little decorations that we've used here. These are all available from Westpac and, um, and this is just a few of them. They have hundreds of things that you can choose from and if you haven't been to their baking section, you have to go it is it's amazing so have a look at uh, Westpac's baking section and you'll find everything that that we are using here at uh, in that section just to point out as well we are going to be for the for the colors that's that we're using we use the the gel paste and when Avalon's doing some decor I'll talk you through why we use gel paste only so Avalon's going to start and while she's she's doing her decorating I'm going to talk a bit about what's going on so she's using these piping bags piping bags also if it is, is is available from Westpac and um, little nib now you the nib is a really really fine nib and this is important you have to use a fine nib because um, you won't get detail like this if that nib is too thick so very important and then you will make your icing and you'll see that there's two different icing recipes. The one is called um, filler um, or flooding as they call it. And the other one, what do they call the other one? Is there a name for it? It's kind of like an outline because yes. it's thicker. So, so the other one is much thicker and that's for your outline. So if you were doing, if you're doing an outline onto the, the, the star, then you'd use your, your outline and then you'd use the, the thin one to fill in. Yes. So this is what you would use the thicker one for, to create detail because it doesn't run. Yes. So yeah, that will, that will give you that sort of uh, clear outline. You can make your, you can use these gel gels, any color that you like, and you can really go to town here. I mean, we've just kept it really simple, but you can really go to town and have a whole lot of fun. The reason why we use these pastes or gel colorings is because the other liquid ones are too liquid and in fact when you start adding them to the icing it actually makes the icing too liquidy so you don't want that and you don't get a good color and is there another reason do you do you know if there's another reason why we only use the gel yeah it um it actually messes up the drying process of the um yes of the icing sugar. So it's really important not to use the liquid because it just won't dry and it'll just drip off. Absolutely. Now you see Avalon's putting a little gold, uh, one of these little gold balls, lovely Christmassy balls in the middle and have a look at that. Just Isn't like that just beautiful? So she's really just, she's just taken some lines um, and she's kind of done just some lines and another line across, a few dots and a little bally in the middle. It's so It's so simple and easy to do. So here you'll see I'm going to use the thicker one to create an outline um, and then I'm going to fill it up with the thinner icing. So at the moment I'm actually going to be making one of these and you'll see why it's so important to have different um, thicknesses or textures of the icing sugar. Right. 
Now, Avalon is a, is a, is a pro at this. And um, in fact, about we were talking about about 10 years ago, her and I went on a cookie decorating course together. And I think this is where the love for yeah. decorate, <laughs> decorating starts. cookies started. And um, since then, she's been making these Christmas cookies and in fact selling them as well um, to make some extra pocket money for herself along the way. And um, she's, she's just become really good at it and I think that she really enjoys it too. Yes, it is really fun and it really helps me get into the Christmas spirit. So Absolutely. It's super fun. And with a gingerbread, you can't go wrong with the Christmas uh, spirit, but you can make them with uh, butter. You can make butter biscuits as well. So if, if your kids don't like the ginger biscuit vibe, then butter biscuits will also work perfectly fine. So here we can see the outline that I did and I actually just used the thinner um, icing sugar to fill it. And now you don't want to overfill it because otherwise it will spill. So I'm going to just use a little bit of a toothpick to move it around so it's all flat and smooth. Yes, the toothpick is, a, is one of your best friends when you're doing yes. ice biscuits like this because as you can see, she can get into all those little corners without destroying the, the outline. Now I just wanted to also show you there are some really really fab ideas that we could we we could do with these biscuits and and these are going more into the crafty um, sort of section and um, what you can do is things like this if you want to do gifts you can make your biscuits but now remember if you're going to do a bottle you must make sure that the bottle is big enough to fit your biscuit in. So um, that's really important. I've made that mistake before. <laughs> yes, so, so just uh, make sure that um, your bottle neck is big enough so you can fit your biscuits in. And I mean, just have a look at this. All these little bits and pieces are from Westpac. And how cute is this? I mean, really, no, look at this. Adorable. This is too oh, adorable. No, that nose. That oh. nose. So it's a little, like a little reindeer. And um, these pom-poms and the eyes and these little pipe cleaners are all available from Westpac. And here's another way of doing it, and I think that's so cute. Lovely little Christmas gifts, uh, stocking fillers, uh, presents for, for the teachers, end of year presents for the teachers. Um, it's just really, really cute. And here's another the one that I really like, this little Santa box. And then you could just fill it with some cookies. And isn't that just like a beautiful gift? So there's lots of little um, crazy, this is the crazy craft stuff that you can use. And you can see that there are hundreds and thousands of things available for you to make bags and little crafty things. So you could get a bigger bag. I think mean, this could be so cute with these two big eyes and then put your pipe cleaners on like that. Could be really cute. I can just imagine the kids going crazy over these, they are so cute. Oh, no. um, and then have a look here, these are the little pom-pom balls, so there's different sizes, so you could make little noses out of those, or eyes, or whatever you like, and then some Christmas inspired pipe cleaning things, I don't know what they're called, I think they're called that. And then here's another fab one, if you want to do a more mature thing, you could um, get a nice big bottle and then you could write something like a little note, Merry Christmas, fill your bottle with the biscuits, then do a nice Christmas ribbon around the, um, the neck of the bottle with the Christmas card hanging off and maybe some Christmas baubles hanging off and you've got a perfect gift. So this is just a really, this is a really cute idea. And, um, and you can also get the chalk markers. So that makes it easy to write on, onto those little labels. It's really fun. I really, really love those chalk stickers. Me too. They just make everything look so beautiful in the kitchen. They do. They do. And there we go. A little gingerbread man. And because we are in Africa, he's got board shorts. Because <laughs> it's not that cold here during Christmas. He's got some green board shorts. How cute is that? And now she's going to do her last one. And this is a slightly bigger gingerbread. So she's going to do something like that. And then... Um, you can really use anything for the buttons, even a little Smarties, Jelly Tots work, um, any, any round sort of sweetie can also work. But look how simple it is. So she's just doing a line over there for the, for the hat and she's going to do a little Santa hat in the red. Oh, it's just too sweet. 
And just like that, you've got a little hat. And you've got a Santa hat. Yes. <laughs> Very cute. Will you grab two of those out for me for the eyes? eyes yeah so we, we're using these little chocolate balls um yeah black chocolate balls for the the eyes they work really nicely for that this is when it's really nice to get the kids involved because they have really small fingers yes. so they can pop them on in the exact right place and kids love doing this they really do i mean i've spent many hours with with um, Avalon when she was small, with baking biscuits. And yeah, it was my favorite. Thing. Icing them, although we didn't have this technique sort of down pat at the time, but we still did. Thank goodness, them. can you imagine what a mess I would make? Yeah, exactly. So guys, if you like what you're seeing, then please subscribe to the channel, hit the bell button, and you'll be seeing a lot more from, from me. And um, Lots of inspiration, some tips, uh, making your life easy, simple, more gorgeous. That's what we want to do. And so much fun. Absolutely. So, make your Christmas gingerbread cookies, decorate them, and um, tag us in, in some pictures. We'd love to see them. Okay. Bye, Bye for now.